Hello, ladies and gentlemen, how you doing today? My name is Bill of and today we are here to counter a glow. Which glow might that be? Why, of course, it's the Poltergeist glow. And these are going to be the amazing goobers that are going to be helping us to figure out what counters this brand new Poltergeist glow. We've got Skelly, Pyro, Gravity, Carl, Ivan, Sho, and I'm right. Let's get it. I think the rocks are going to be good counters here because you're going to be able to keep yourself safe from running away and you're going to be able to keep yourself safe from the table flip action. I wouldn't use Diamond as you do have a slow cooldown and it slows you down. I would either use Custom or Mega Rock. So, if you get hit with this... You can pop the rock form and escape from being walked off the ledge. So that comes in very clutch. Also, if you go into the rock when they spawn in a throwable, the throwable will not target you. I don't think if you go on the body and use this, it will oof them. Oh, it did. Do they spawn in? Oh, they spawned in alive. What the? <laughs> How effective would reverse be here? All right, so if you reversed and they do the effect... Ooh, it doesn't hit you. Very nice. If you're reversed... Ooh, it saves you from that as well. That's nice. That's very nice. Reverse is definitely a solid glove. This will give you time to figure out where their body is so that you could slap them. Can the slicer glove slap them out of their ability? Ooh, it can. Slicer's gonna be good here. So if they're over there sleeping, get them out of there. Tell them, get up, it's time to fight. <laughs> <laughs> but like Gravity's saying, that's just to hit their body. And if their body's over on Cannon Island, you're not going to be able to stop them. You got to focus on the people that are hiding in bushes or stuff like that. If they're way over there in uh, Castle Island, you are not going to be able to stop that. Not going to keep you as safe as the other globes would. This is just something that would be great to offensively go after them if they are targeting you. You know what I mean? Can you avoid being hit with Blink? Oh, you can avoid that. That's really, really, really good. And if they cast in this thing, it does not target you. Blink is a counter. And you can panic use this as well. Super, super, super duper solid option. The one thing with Blink though is if you get hit with this, it's not going to take you out of the ability. You're still going to walk off the map like that. So you would have to use this beforehand. Just like Slicer, can you use Table Flip to hit their bodies off? You absolutely can throw projectiles, but they just get teleported back to their bodies. It works, but I would definitely use Slicer over this for sure. What happens with Titan? So getting hit with the ability just makes you fall over a little bit. Now what happens? Oh, it doesn't even get hit by the uh, the spooky. Titan's going to be a counter here. Now what about using it for bodies? Oh, you cannot use the ability to kick their bodies. You can slap as a Titan. You're going to have to put in a lot more work with Titan than some of the other gloves, but this could work. Is Shard good for getting them when they're sleeping? You could absolutely sit here and shoot them with Shard and take them out of their ability. It's like Slicer. You could definitely reference Shard to being like another Slicer. I don't know if I'd use Shard over Slicer, but it might be better if you have better accuracy. If you can pop an Alchemist Potion, what happens here? You're going to need to get a Mushroom and a piece of Elderwood right here. Throw in one piece of Elderwood and two Mushrooms. Craft yourself the Invincible Potion, and now you shouldn't be able to be targeted by by anything so if they try to hit you with this ability yep does not work and if they try to place down an object and throw at you it should not target you either nope so this does work granted if you are being hard targeted by them this is not gonna work you are gonna get oofed before you can craft your ability but if you can create it before they notice you you can create something to keep yourself safe for sure you can't throw any potions on their bodies to make them wake up the only thing you could do is use the potion to keep yourself safe and then walk over and slap their body to wake them up but there's better options avatar the counter all glove so you wouldn't oh i was about to say so you can't slap them but i guess you can Oh, Avatar definitely works here, for sure. This shouldn't target you. Yeah, nothing nothing happens. Avatar is definitely the counter all glove. And then the last counter on this very, very, very short list is going to be the Poltergeist glove, because you can attack other Poltergeist bodies with your E ability. All right, so let me see. If I spawn it on top of Carl, will it hit him? Yes, you'd have to spawn it on their bodies. And that's gonna do it for all of our counters on this brand new Poltergeist glove. Virtually, like, none. Absolutely crazy. This felt like the release of Avatar when there was, like, no counters to Avatar. Just mind-boggling. <laughs> Shout out to all the goobers that you do see on your screen right now. Gravity Ivan, I'm right, Skelly, Vaz, Carl, Kai's way over there. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for helping out. Let me know what was your favorite counter on this list, to this very short list. I think my favorite counter might have to be the rocks. It's just super solid. Solid, you know and let me know what counter you think is the best again i think that's gonna have to be the rocks i think the rocks were super solid in that because you can pop it really quick that or blink blink was also a very very good one but let me know what do you think what is your choices i'm intrigued to see what everybody has to say about this <laughs> but other than that ladies and gentlemen we all hope that you have an amazing rest of your day or night whenever you do end up watching this and we shall see you in the next one later